Time for the final race already then, it's the two mile flat race this time, the long distance race on the flat for four year olds and upwards. Over two miles, top one is Cabo Zarad for Darren Thompson, Houston Obsessive, Vinnie Gerard, Baroness Long for Jim Murray, Zagama, Darren Thompson, Charming Humour, David Hooley, Bakersfield, Accelerate, Vinnie Gerard, Mission Patrol, Graham Clutter, Wizard, Martin Leon, Cocorna Festival for David Rawson, October Breeze, Graham Clutter, So I Told You, David Hooley, Viva Cadiz, Paul Rhodes, Friends for David Robertson in Chando, Bear, Connor Leggett, Chippy Grand for Craig Allen, 7th Bride, Martin Lee on the bell ringer, Joshua Sullivan, Unilite, Craig Allen, Mentalia, Alex Cherry, Wooten Bassett, Michael Scala, and Boss Burner for Connor Leggett is the bottom one, so 21 this time, a long old way to go, the draw shouldn't make much difference, they're away and racing, Got plenty of time to get yourself into a decent position, as they come up then past the stand, and complete full circuit of the track to go once they pass the winning post in about a furlong's time but it's Houston Obsessive who's taking them, taking them along to Mentalia in second and a gap of about three to Cabo Zarad who won the race on the level weights and Zigama in seventh bride also close up so this is the final race I think before the season starts I don't think they're going to try and get another Trials meeting in uh, about four weeks. I think you've got, depending on when this gets put out, of course. But now, while I'm commentating, I think you've got about four weeks to get your teams sorted out and entered. And as you've seen from the races today, we've seen some horses that finish way down the field from the level weights race coming good and challenging for wins in the handicap races. So, there's plenty to play for, still plenty of time to get yourself some. Horses in if you don't know what to do, just have a look on the strategic designs forum and go onto the online league page and there's all sorts of bits of info and stuff there. And you can hit people up for a bit of advice. Hopefully all of these trainers involved in this race will be back, plus quite a few others who don't join in the trials, just wait for the season, keep their powder dry until things get going in earnest. And it's Houston Obsessive who's in the lead at the moment. With Mentalia back in second. Then Mission Patrol is third. Seventh Bride is fourth. And after that one, Zigama. And Baroness Longford, Viva Cadiz is next. And Houston Obsessive, second in the level weights race. Hoping to go one better for Vinnie Gerard in this one. Leads by three to Mentalia for Alex Cherry in second. Alex Cherry did the handicapping on the jump races. And what a good job he did as well. Dead heat. In the first race, you can't do much better than get a dead heat, and he's better for me because one of them was mine. So anyway, <laughs> Houston obsessive in the lead from Cabo Zarad and Mentalia. Then comes Zagama, uh, seventh Brighton, then Viva Cadiz. Mission patrols also in that little group as well. Just snatched up there, Baroness Longford, a little bit short of racing room. The Craig Allen pair are right out the back at the moment. Unilite and Chippy Grand. And Chando Bear is just the back marker. I think it's been Connor Liggett that's done the handicapping for these flat races as well. So thanks to them for stepping up and doing the handicapping. And it's Houston Obsessive that leads by a couple of lengths. Do Friends four in second. Zagara is third. Capo Zarad is fourth. Then comes the Bell Ringer and Mission Patrol and Bakersfield Accelerator for that one as they now race down towards the final two furlongs and Friends Falls come through to challenge for the lead. Then Houston Obsessive trying to battle back on the inside. Zigama. It could be another one for Darren Thompson. Could it? What a day he's having. Is Zigama in the lead in there from Houston Obsessive in second? They caught past the final furlong pole. And it's Zigama who's kicked on in front. Zigama from Houston Obsessive. Mission Patrol in third finishing. Well, is so. I told you, Zigama. Houston Obsessive reasserts on the near side and racing up towards the Look at the center. So I told you, and so I told you, told you, didn't he? Well, there you go. So I told you, the centre of the front for David Hooley. And he's positively eating up the ground, also finishing really well. There was the grey for David Robertson. Kakorna Festival didn't get a mention in the race. And once again, the delights of the handicap, because Houston Obsessive and Zigama up the top of the weights look like they got it between them. And then, so I told you, just that extra few pounds that it got from the handicapper allowed it to sweep past the leading pair and take it so so i told you for david hooley the winner houston obsessive for vinnie gerard was second 
Zagama for Darren Thompson ended up third. And we just wait to check on fourth. I think it was a corner festival for David Robertson, a grey that was finishing really well indeed it was and Bakersfield Accelerate for Vinnie Gerard was fifth so that's your handicap versions in other races so what I would suggest you probably do with your horses is go back and have a look at the level weights race and then have a look at the handicap race and see how you think you were doing and it just give you a bit of an idea because don't forget when the season proper starts all these horses won't be lumped in the same race you'll find that the the horse that won that so I told you rated 84 will probably go in a 0 to 90 or a 0 to 100 Whereas Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerald will probably go into a group race, as will Zigama for Darren Thompson, could call a festival for David Robson. He might sneak that into a 0 to 90 off top weight, so there's an opportunity there that all four of them could get wins in the same week. So it makes it fascinating when the handicapping is done properly, and we look forward to a good season with plenty of good handicap races to go alongside the the group races which tend to be dominated by the same trainers but as you can see the handicaps get shared about a bit and they are a vitally important part of the league and without the handicaps the league really wouldn't work so we'll see you all then again in about four weeks time for the start of the season and there's still a vacancy for somebody to do a little bit of commentating if they fancy having a bit of a bash of it it can't be that hard i can do it